soul. Mind the people what? Mind the enemy. Too many mind. No mind. Yeah, shalom everyone. I just want to just give you a piece of wisdom. And I want you to think about this passage that I actually looked at in Jeremiah chapter 13 and verse 23. And it reads this. It's, it says, can an Ethiopian change his skin or a leopard his spots? Then may ye also do good that is accustomed to do evil. On the surface of this, this verse here, it seems to be a discouraging message to us. And it might seem to be like something that a people who have done wrong in the past and are doomed to repeat to make these mistakes forever. However, I want you to look at this in a positive way based on what this statement is saying including the wisdom as being offered to us from this statement. That change is possible for everyone, no matter how deep-rooted our habits or our patterns are, or may be. One thing is true, that we all have the tendency to fall in these certain patterns of behavior, so we all have our own spots. So we can look at it in that better way. But just as the Ethiopian, the person that change, can't change their skin or their color, we can't change who we are fundamentally being today. That's the point of that verse. However, we need to focus on what we can change. And what we can change is our thoughts and our actions. So if we choose to do good, even though we naturally inclined to do opposite, we can work on breaking these old habits and forming new ones, positive ones. So we add a strength from our faith, which is in the body of Christ. So let us not be discouraged by this verse of Jeremiah thirteen twenty three. But instead, let's look at it as a challenge to where we can become a better version of ourselves and that we can be the ones that the Most High is looking for in these last days. So we got to remember that change is always possible if we put forth the effort and the determination and we can overcome the stubborn habits and these stubborn tendencies and we strive to do good in this world. So in every action from now on we could take, we can always make a difference. So with that, I tell each and every person, this is something we can meditate on. So until next time, I say shalom.